Thank you, Francis. Now, let's take a look at some of those excerpts from the Auditor General's report for the financial year 2014 and 2015. Try to look at the red flags, what, how, what has been pointed out by the Auditor General in the county of Kilifi. Now, the first thing we're talking about is the revenue budget for the county of Kilifi. Now, the budgeted revenue collection that were projected for that year, financial year 2014 and 2015, was 1 billion Kenya shillings. That was what was projected, but in actual sense, the Total revenue collected in that financial year was 532.7 million shillings. That is a shortfall of 467. 0.3 million Kenya shillings. That is 46.8% in terms of the shortfall. The Auditor General is saying that that could be due to a number of reasons, including poor revenue control systems and the fact that there could be leakage in terms of trying to find out where this money is going, where is the shortfall coming through. The county government there, of course, are taking, uh, uh, you know, getting its... Uh, uh, its staff punched holes by the Auditor General. Now, the second thing is concerning the County Assembly of Kilifi. This is mileage claims for members of the Kilifi County Assembly. Now, the MCA's mileage claims for that financial year amounts to 12.63 million Kenya shillings. Now, this is where the problem is. According to the Salaries and Remuneration Commission circular, it, uh, it puts a cap on how much a mileage an MCA could claim, and this is put at 109 uh, shillings and 80 cents per kilometer, and uh, caps this to 45 kilometers, a return journey of 90 kilometers. This means that the cap, the limit set by the Salaries and Remuneration Commission is 5 million Kenya shillings, 140,400 and 95. The, the total amount that was spent on mileage claims is 12 million, this 12.63 million shillings, and there, there is no explanation on why that difference of 7 million Kenya shillings is that in terms of mileage claims by members of the county assembly. Now, let's take a look at terms of domestic travel. The amount paid uh, to travel farms is 8.4 million shillings. This is the amount paid uh, to uh, do, both domestic uh, travel, air, air, for air travel for various journey in the year, financial year 2014-2016. Now, the problem about this is that there are no invoices, you know, to support this amount of expenditure. 8.4 million shillings spent on air travel, paid to different companies, but there are no invoices. That is, of course, coming out in that Auditor General report on the county of Kilifi. Let's take a look at pending bills. Uh, the amount unsettled by the county government of Kilifi as of June 20th, 2015, is 40, was 45.2 million Kenya shillings. There is no credit report. That is a big problem. No explanation as to why the county assembly did not settle its obligations as to why the county government did not uh, pay those bills. 42 million, 42 million 217,615 in total. Another thing that comes out in that Auditor, uh, Auditor General's report is the recruitment of ward staff that is in the county of Kilifi. Now, there were no documents to show how various staff were hired in the year 2014-2015. A total of 278 uh, personnel, new personnel were hired in the county of Kilifi. That is according to the report. And there, is, and there are no... Uh, documents to show the process of hiring from the uh, opening of the applications of those various positions to the shortlisting to the interviews. There are no documents to show how that process went. Another thing in that part of the report is that there are a total of 12 uh, employees of the county of Kilifi that uh, were still in employment but were over the age, the retirement age of 60. They had already attained the retirement age of 60 years, but they were still on the payroll. Another thing that there are inconsistencies in terms of same employees, people in the same kind of job earning differently. Now, the final thing in this county uh, of Kilifi in the, in the Auditor General's report is that there is no internal audit. Uh, there is no, uh, there is no in audit committee in the county of assembly in the county of Kilifi. County management breached the law. That is uh, Article Section 155.5 of the Public Finance Management Act of 2012. It shows that, according to the excerpts 
according to the pointers from the Auditor, Auditor General's report, it shows that uh, the county breached the law, that it could not keep tabs on where problems are, therefore they could not fix them in a timely manner. Another thing on this is that a total of 133 million shillings uh, were paid to the Kilifi uh, recurrent account and they were not processed through the Integrated Financial Management Information System, IFMIS. This means that uh, th that was also in contravention of the law, the Public Accounts, the Public Finance Management Act of 2012, which says that uh, all payments must be fully integrated through the IFMIS system. Of course, this report ain't by no means exhaustive. It is a 16-page report uh, touching on the county of Kilifi, but those are the excerpts uh, touching on the county of Kilifi.